ever ordered a drink from Starbucks, then this video is for you. Today, we are going to be talking about your coffee and your breakouts. Is your Starbucks holiday drink causing acne? And if so, why? Now, I've always been a Starbucks drinker. I know it's not that great for me. Hello, cute holiday cups. Hello. But I always noticed that I would break out during the holiday season and I thought, is this because of stress or is this actually related to my diet? Granted, I do eat a lot more pumpkin pie and steal Santa's cookies during this time, but is there a relation between your Starbucks drink? And there actually is. For today's video, I'm going to give you the inside scoop or the sip as to what actually goes into your Starbucks drinks because I have a couple friends who know the insides and they work there. So they gave me all the dirt and all the details on what goes into these Starbucks drinks, why they're so delicious, and then I'm gonna break down the science as to what it may be doing to your skin. So first off, every Starbucks drink is made of generally the same three things. One, the coffee. Two, the base, which is usually milk. And three, the syrups or additives. Now, does caffeine actually do anything to your skin? Caffeine inside of the body when we ingest it is a vasoconstrictor and a vasodilator, meaning it makes your blood vessels constrict and expand at the same time. If you don't drink coffee regularly, it's actually a good idea to do before you exercise because you'll get a better workout. You'll have more stamina through the workout and you'll actually burn more calories. So caffeine is a drug, it is addictive, but it is not always a bad thing. And from the research that I've done, there is nothing proving that there is anything terrible in caffeine. The beans, the coffee beans that are roasted themselves, are sourced from different places. Sometimes those beans are sprayed with pesticides or preservatives. In general, I'd like to believe that those aren't really good for my body, so I would assume that those aren't as great but I have not been able to find anything that is scientifically conclusive. So if the caffeine's not doing anything, let's move on to step two, which is the base. The base of your coffee is the milk inside of it. Now that could be almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, or regular milk. I took a look at the back of the soy milk and the coconut milk that Starbucks uses, and it is not the same kind of stuff that you're gonna get at your organic farmer's market. Granted, it's really just almonds or coconut with a bunch of sugar. But is that better than dairy milk? And what do each of these do for your skin? Dairy is almost always linked to clogged skin and acne. When I went vegan, it changed my skin so much because I took that out. Either way, the way that the dairy society works is that cows are pumped with hormones and you know, when you're milking that cow for how many hours a day, forcing a female cow to be pregnant, there's gonna be a lot of hormones and a lot of pus that comes out. And unfortunately, that's just the truth. And that can really cause clogs in the skin. And I would always notice I got snot really bad when I drank dairy. And this isn't an ethics video, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. But it's literally as simple as choosing soy or coconut. Well, guys, I'm sorry. My camera battery died and then the light changed. So we were rudely interrupted by technology. But as I was saying, dairy has been linked to an increase in acne. Now, Starbucks does offer soy, almond milk, and coconut milk. And how do those add up? Unfortunately, the coconut milk and the soy milk is basically coconut or soy with a bunch of sugar and water. But I would still say that those two options are better for you than dairy, which has a lot of hormones and a lot of that pus. Soy is definitely very creamy and tastes the coziest, but generally almond milk and soy milk are considered healthier. So read those bottles, do your homework, and get what tastes best to you. Next, let's talk about the pumps. The pumps are the syrups that go into these. You have the vanilla ones, the caramel ones, the sugar-free ones, the peppermint ones, etc. What's interesting about Star Starbucks is that holiday drinks have twice the amount of normal pumps. Also, it doesn't matter if you get a tall drink or a what do you call that? A venti? A grande? Doesn't matter if it's small or tall, it's the same amount of pumps, which is why the tall ones taste more concentrated than the larger ones. But they do have twice the amount of sugar, and we have done a video on how sugar causes acne. Now I'm gonna be interrupted by a phone. I bet you it's my mother calling to bitch at me for something. I kid you not. Who even has a house phone anymore? Sugar has been shown to cause hormonal changes which have caused acne. And that directly happens through testosterone, which we've all heard of, and basically affects how your skin produces oil and how it naturally exfoliates. So if you want a video on that, I will link you to the science behind sugar and acne. I'll also link you to a video behind the science of stress and acne since it's the holiday seasons. And I'm sure that we're all dealing with family, financial, and just freaking freaking stress. <laughs> but those are the three big F's of the holidays. But sugar can cause that acne, and because there's more of them in the Starbucks drinks, there's a more likely chance that it's gonna cause that insulin spike. And a high insulin spike also means you're more prone to weight gain. For some people that may be healthy, for some people it's not. And generally during the holidays, we're not looking to pack on pounds because we're already eating all of Santa's cookies and leaving the carrots for the reindeers. Am I right? 
At least that's how I roll. <laughs> Very last but not least, some drinks have additives, such as whipped cream, such as cinnamon, etc. Cinnamon is actually great. Cinnamon has been shown to lower blood pressure and it's just tasty in general. But things like whipped cream, again, you're doing a dairy punch plus a sugar punch. That's fat, that's sugar, and that's a lot of cream, which can still carry those hormones, which still has pus and can still affect your skin. And if you have not tried going dairy free, I would highly recommend trying it for just a week and seeing how your skin reacts to it because a lot of people are are intolerant to it without knowing it. But that is basically what is in your Starbucks holiday drink and how it may be affecting your skin. So what's the best thing to order at Starbucks? Tea. But let's be real, who's gonna do that? So enjoy those holiday drinks. And the next time you're at Starbucks, you can always ask them to do less pumps or change the type of milk that you're using. And that's what's up. I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And of course, cheers to you, your health, and your skin. If you're interested in more science, more diet and nutrition, please tell me. For the new year, we may be doing some diet stuff. If you guys want, I don't know, tell me what you want. And I am working on that digital magazine and I'm so excited because I'm writing articles, really editing this magazine, and trying to bring you science and fitness posts that not only explain what to do and how to look good and feel great about your body, but also the science behind it and what actually is healthy and what's just a bunch of marketing and scams. So that's coming. My limited edition jewelry line is still available before the Christmas season. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Some things are super close to selling out and there is $20 off if you are purchasing and want to get something for the holiday season, but these are those charms of confidence and beauty to remind you of your transformation, your strength, and the... <laughs> I just burped. These are the confidence charms to remind you of your strength, your inner beauty, and that we are all connected. I'm so sorry about that burp. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope that you've been having a beautiful day. Remember that you are beautiful. My little butterflies, should we have like a handshake? Is this like our handshake? No, I just look ridiculous, huh? Anyways, I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and a new video every Saturday for Skin Science. And for all of December, we're doing special Sundays. So a little bonus video because I love you. Hope that you enjoyed and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.